Hello everyone. As WordPress website owners, we all know that email is a high-powered marketing tool for your website. Now, WordPress SMTP plays a major role in getting the best results for your email marketing efforts. Thus, in this video, I'll show you how you can set up email on your WordPress site using SMTP. I'm Aparna Singh from LearnWoo and let's get started. Let's first talk about why do we need to set up SMTP email. That's because your WordPress.com site uses PHP email settings by default. So when your emails are sent from your website using PHP mail, it could end up in your contact spam or junk folders with many major email clients. Thus, by switching to SMTP, that is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, you could improve the deliverability and email marketing results. Now, since you know why we need to set up SMTP email, let's quickly jump into how to set it up. To switch from PHP to WordPress SMTP settings, you'll need to install a WordPress plugin. We will be using the popular SMTP plugin WP Mail SMTP. To install the plugin, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new. On the search bar, search WP Mail SMTP. Now this is the particular plugin that we will be using. Once the plugin appears, click install. And once the plugin is installed, click activate. Once the plugin is installed and activated, you will be directed to the plugin setup page. Now click on let's get started. Here first you need to choose your SMTP mailer. Now choose the mailer of your choice, like here I'm choosing Gmail, since it is one of the most popular mailer and comes for free. Please note that there are other free mailers as well, however Amazon SES, Outlook and Zoho Mail are pro mailers and would charge you money for that. Once you have selected your choice mailer, click save and continue. Now a pop-up message will appear stating the Gmail mailer works well for sites that send low numbers of emails. However, Gmail's API has rate limitations and a number of additional restrictions that can lead to challenges during setup. Thus, if you have a high number of emails to be sent, then I would suggest you to choose another mailer. However, I'll continue with this. Now click on I understand. Here we need to configure our mailer settings. Create client ID and client secret for which we will be using Google Cloud Console. So go to Google Cloud Console in a new tab. However, the link to Google Cloud Console is also given in the description. Once you are in Google Cloud Console, create a new project by clicking here. New project. Give a name to the project. And click continue. Once a new project is created, go to the navigation menu from the left corner here and click on API and services. Now click on enable APIs and services from the option here on the top. On the search bar, search Gmail API. Once the API appears, click on it. Now enable the API by clicking on the enable button here. Once the API is enabled, you'll land on this particular page. Click on Create Credentials. Now here in the Credential Type section, your Gmail API is already selected. Next from here, select User Data and click Next. Here in Auth Consent screen, give the app information. First here, give the app name. Next in this box, give User Support Email. Now this is the email from which your mail will be sent. Next here in the app logo section, click on browse and upload your company's logo if any, else you can leave it empty. Once that's done, here under developer contact information, give the email address that will be used by Google to notify you about any changes to your project. Once done, click save and continue. Next here you can add any non-sensitive scopes sensitive scopes or restrictive scopes. However, since this step is not required and is optional, simply click on save and continue. 
Next here in the auth client ID section, select web application from the drop down given here in application type. Once that's done, give the name of the auth client. However, it will be auto filled, but can be changed as per your requirement. Next, we get two options, authorize JavaScript origins and authorize redirect URIs. Skip authorize JavaScript origins and go to authorize redirect URIs. And here click on add URI. Now go back to WP Mail SMTP plugin setup page where we left. From here, select and copy the URI given. Next, go back to Google Cloud Console where we left and paste the URI in this box here. Once done, click create. Here your credentials will be created. Once done, click on done. Now from the left API and services menu, go to credentials. You can see your Gmail API credentials for WP Mail SMTP plugin is created. Now click on it. Now here on the right side, you'll get both your client ID and client secret for your WP Mail SMTP plugin setup. Now copy client ID from here. Go to the plugin setup page and paste it here in the client ID box. Similarly, copy client secret from here and go to the plugin setup page and paste it in the client secret box. Once done, click on connect to Google. Choose your Gmail ID and allow the access to your account. Once that's done, your account will be successfully authorized. Now change name from which you want to send the mail from here if you want and click on save and continue. Next from here select which email feature you want to enable. The free features will automatically be selected. If you select the pro features you will be charged money. Once done click save and continue. Next here enter your email address to receive the recommendations and then click save and continue. Next here, if you are using the pro features, enter the license key. However, since we are not using any pro features in this step, simply click skip this step. And in a few moments, your WP Mail SMTP plugin will be successfully set up. Now here, you'll get recommendation of other free plugins. Ignore that and scroll down and then click on finish setup. Now this is how its setting page looks with all the information that we had entered. However, you can change them later according to your need. Next, let's quickly take a look at how the email would look like. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, settings, email test. Here, enter the email ID where you want to send the test email to and then simply click send email. Once the email is sent, this is how your email will look like. Your customers will receive a similar email whenever your email from your website will be sent to your customers. It will have the similar layout. You can see your mentioned email ID, logo and name here as we had entered while setting up the plugin. However, you can simply go to WordPress dashboard, WP Mail SMTP settings and you can change the name of the user for the email from here. However, email ID cannot be changed. Once done, scroll to the bottom and click save settings. And that's all. This is how you can set up email on your WordPress site using SMTP. Do let us know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you. And if you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next one.